Okay, I figured I'd do a set of tutorials on Bash and the command line. Basically, it seems like uh, the more we use these um, GUIs, the uh, graphical user interfaces, the less familiar and uh, comfortable we are at using the command line. And therefore, we've gotten away from the days of DOS and stuff like that to where uh, people were fairly comfortable with using the command line because that's how computing was done but now with all the graphical user interfaces that are out there anymore we've just gotten away from using the command line so much that uh, we're uncomfortable with it a lot of times so with Linux we tend to use it a lot and it's needed sometimes so it's better to just be familiar with it and comfortable with it and be more productive with it also so first thing is we're gonna get familiar with the terminals okay so all the different distributions pretty much come with terminals and they all have their own features and um, different properties you can change okay so here I have four different text editors or I mean uh, four different um, terminals on my computer here and as you can see they're all a little bit different uh, we have some with menus, um, some that don't have menus. So if you don't have any with, you know, if you have one that you don't see this file exit the menu at the top there, you can just do a right click and then show menu, show menu bar, okay, and you can get to it that way. If you have one like this, we don't have a show menu bar, so the first thing we're going to do is go into preferences so you can just click on preferences and get to it that way or if you're um, on a, you can just click on edit if you have the menu bar click on edit and then profile preferences okay so I'm going to close these other terminals out okay and I'll have this here. So the first thing I do is I change and uncheck the uh, box saying use the system's uh, fixed width and font. Okay, and I change my font and font size, and I go with Andale Mono because the characters are nicely set up to where they each look different enough from each other. The capital I is not just a, a straight up and down line. Um, a capital O is different from a zero. And the uh, lowercase l looks different. It's not just a straight up and down line also. Uh, so it doesn't look like this or any of these other ones. So I like the Andale Mono myself. And I also increase the font size. Uh, there's mostly for one reason is it's easier for me to see and read and without having to squint or strain my eyes um, on computers a lot of times people can get headaches and different things like that uh, it's just easier and better I think to have it uh, at a larger font size so there's no strain um, just takes a little more stress out of uh, computing <laughs> and it can become stressful at times of course so that's why I do that. Plus, with the larger font size, it'll be easier for you all to see what I'm doing, too. Commands. You can change a lot of times, you know, different preferences for different commands in the uh, terminals and the way it reacts to those. Now, by default, when you type exit, most of the time, it will be set up to exit the terminal. For this set of tutorials, and while you're viewing these, it would be best to set that to restart the command okay that'll just refresh your terminal because we're gonna be making changes to our bash um, the actual bash uh, scripts and stuff like that so as we make changes we want we don't have to close out the term you know the terminal and then reopen it this way we can just type exit and it will refresh it that way for colors Dark colors uh, for background are best, I'd say, and then light colors for the uh, text um, is best. So if you're um, 
checked off on using system themes, it's best to just go ahead and set these manually so you know that you have control over those. Okay, it's not just going to give you some random uh, thing each time and stuff like that, so you'll know exactly how things are set up. And a lot of times you can change your background and you can make it transparent um, depending on your distribution and what's uh, available uh, or what terminal you're using. And then you can change, you know, and make it a a background a lot of times and you can lighten and darken that okay but I'm just gonna go with a solid background of black and uh, light colored fonts with a uh, a command um, for exit being restart the command just refreshing the terminal more or less and then increasing the font size and um, the font type. And that's about all the changes we have to make at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a simple text editor. Okay? And anything will do. Uh, can use mEdit. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do with this is do a save, even, when we'll, even though it's an empty file. We're going to click on save, and then we'll give it a title of like bash rc dot txt okay and then just save that in your home folder all right now we're going to open up our home folder and the first thing we'll do is make sure we do have that bash rc dot txt file and here is mine right here so you just want to make sure that's in there and you know where it's located at this point. And then we will go and show your hidden files. So you can do maybe a com control H or just go up into view and show hidden files. However you can get to it, show your hidden files. Okay. And we're going to be looking for a document called dot bash RC right here for me. See that? Dot bash RC. Okay, so open that up. And you can close this out. So what we're first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this file, make sure you're all the way at the top, and we're gonna highlight it and copy it. So you take a highlight and copy this whole file and then you go into your other text editor or if you just or if it just opened up in a new tab you'll just click over to the new tab to where you get to your bash rc.txt file and paste that code in there okay and i'm just going to check here and it's all the way from the bottom and it goes all the way to the top there and the first thing we're going to do with that before we do anything else is do a save and the reason for that is we're going to be making changes to this .bash rc file. So if we ever make a change and we can't seem to undo it and it messes things up, we'll always have an original copy here that we will have available to us so that we can copy it back into this folder and everything will be just as it was before we started messing around with it. <laughs> okay? So more or less we just backed it up into this txt file. And it's like the original copy there. So we can close that out. And we can close this out. And um, now you're going to set up two terminals side by side. Okay. So it'll look like this. However you do it, but just put two terminals side by side like that, okay? I'm just going to open up Terminator. Terminator is kind of nice for doing stuff like this because I can just do a split vertically. And I'll shorten this up and hide it a little bit and bring it over. Okay, and now we're going to open up two simple text editors. Just really simple ones is fine. Uh, for me, mouse pad here will work. And uh, one more. 
and I'm going to do uh, like a leaf pad here. Okay. So just two simple text editors underneath your two terminals. So you'll have like, so you can view these all at the same time. Okay. Okay. So basically we're going to be using text editors within the terminal. And the one I'm going to be using is Nano. Um, there's other ones like Vim and stuff like that, but I'm going to be using Nano. And we're going to go Nano dot bash RC. And we'll click Enter. Okay. So now we're in that bash dot bash RC file that we were in before. The first thing you need to know about Nano, I'm just going to give you a couple commands to make you a little familiar with it. When we're going to when we make changes and we need to save them, we'll do a command O, and that'll be let us write to that file. And when we go to exit, you just do a Control X. Control X will take you out of it. Okay. And uh, if you want to type your last command, so instead of us typing out nano.bashrc, again, you can just do a uh, up arrow, and that will give us our history of our command line. And so that was our last one. We can just retype that, or do a up arrow, and enter in that way. Okay. I think I will end this tutorial here because I'm not sure how much time I have. So I'll end this here, and um, when we get back, we're going to get to this point here of... We're going to try and get to this point here. Okay? We'll be getting everything set up and color-coded. See you on the next tutorial.